I'm going to show you Einstein's time and my time. Einstein has a clock. Up here is a mirror. Beam of light goes A up here and back. It's called tick tock. What, what does tick tock have to do with time? That's what he says. Now you speed it up. It goes tick tock. See, time slows down. Really? It slows down? At the speed of light, when the velocity equals the speed of light, time equals zero. That is Albert Einstein's idea. Now you have to understand, he had the twin theory, twin paradox. If the twins were here at this clock, they're the same age. If one moves with that clock, time slows down, and when he goes back, he's younger, and the, 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 his brother there, stayed there, is older. Maybe, I don't know how many years, but he's older. Okay? At the speed of light, he says, time stops. Time is zero. Absolutely 100% wrong. Time has nothing to do with that. But now I'm going to show you. He says time slows down. And things grow faster. Uh, uh, thing, time slows down. So watch, in my theory, you're the same thing. No tick-tock. Time is a point, a particle, that shows you the duration of the present only. Now we speed it up. Excuse my bad numbers. What we do, we speed it up. We took the particle and stretched it. The duration of the present is stretched, making it appear that time slows down. You know what I mean? Time slows down. But there's more energy. And if you would put a wheat, I taught, they did it. I called Cyberling. I said, why don't you send some living things? You'll find out they grow faster. They did it with wheat. The wheat came back growing faster, not slower, faster. They did it with bacteria. Came back growing faster. Not so, why does it grow faster and not like Einstein slowing down? Because the duration has more energy in it. There's more duration. To stretch the duration of the present, time slows down, but not slowing down like his. Now, when the velocity squared equals c squared, and present equals infinity. A lot different than equals nothing. Now, I'm going to show you how we got that. Okay? You got that so far? Why do we velocity have... Velocity squared equals c squared. Yeah. President. When the see, he says that when the velocity equals uh, the speed of light, time equals zero. Mine is when the velocity squared equals c squared, the present equals infinity. That means I am made up of trillions and billions of time points. They talk about Higgs boson. Heck, the Higgs boson is probably made out of millions of time points. That's not the smallest thing. I talked about that a long time ago. So when when he speeds up, he uses this simple little time equals nothing. How do I get v squared equals c squared? When the universe was created, two infinite, like I said before, two infinite, beam, uh, two infinite beams of something, which I call time particles. All there were were time particles going at the speed of 2 c squared. Once they collide everywhere, there's millions of universes, once they collide, now they go 2c squared minus 1c, one speed of light. As it slows down, and you get rid of one of that, it becomes c squared minus c. Because you're in, you're in this ball now, okay? Now you're at c squared minus c. Now when you, take the, when you speed up, see we're slowing down. Light is nothing but lost energy. We're slowing down. But when we speed up, the velocity, when the velocity squared equals c squared, when the velocity, then we have, we have c. We're traveling at c squared. You see? We're not, having, we're mm -hmm. not traveling at c squared minus c. We're traveling at c squared. And in this case, c is equal to the speed of light. c is the speed of light, which means it's slowing down. c squared is how fast we're going. It's going to take him 100 years to figure this out. Galileo had a hard time. Copernicus said, this is how it works. 
That is what time is. Time is not slow. Things, speed of light is slow. What all they're measuring with the speed of light is how much we're slowing down. I'll give you a good example, okay? Let's say everything is a ball of string. You're a ball of string. Then we'll take the string. It's all energy, string. Tie the string to that. Put a one on it. And then throw the string. How fast is the string moving? The string isn't moving. The ball is moving. Light is being lost, dissipated. And that's what time is. Time is a particle. It's, a, it's the only thing in the universe. Dark matter, time particles. Dark energy, time particles. That's what sets things apart. If, uh, if they find a Higgs boson, it's made out of millions of time particles. The universe started, here I'll show you. Give me another, I'll erase this.